all right and hey you guys and welcome back to my channel yet again with another sims um series so um this series i decided to do or play the scenarios i have never since starting the sims played with the scenarios um i've seen a bit of gameplay on the scenarios in I decided that I wanted to play with them today. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, I've seen mm, a lot of people play Stuck in Their Shadows. Um, I've seen, I think I've seen um, Family Family Fortune. Um, I have never seen Parenting Predicament and um i have never seen new in town i don't believe um so i'm gonna go ahead and start with like the beginners um let's see what else they have on here uh, making money says it's easy um let's see intermediate intermediate easy I heard one of these from um, Satron Sims that a lot of these are not really good, but um, the ones that are best is the welcome scenarios. Um, so let's go ahead and see. It says new in town. Moving to a new place can be scary, especially if you don't know anyone there, but it can also be a great adventure. Help Farah explore her new home, make some friends, and throw a moving in party that will be the talk of the town. Um, and then we have Parents in Predicaments. Um, it says play with the Martinez household. Um, two happy-go-lucky young parents are at a loss for what to do with their rambunctious, unruly children. Can they cultivate the right environment for their children to thrive and support their children toward becoming teenagers on the right track? So this one, it says um, we can start with either one, Jennifer, the wife, mother, and writer, um, Pablo, the father, husband, and artist, Leonardo, a rambunctious, smart child, and Sophia, an artistic, shy child. Um, the story endings is um, raised responsible teenagers, raised wild teenagers. Leonardo overachieves, Sophia slacks off. Sophia overachieves, and Leonardo slacks off. Um, I honestly don't know which direction to go in, but we're definitely going to play that today. You guys, so a little disclaimer, um, my door is open for my kids to come in if they need me. Um, so that's just my disclaimer. I don't have my G shade on, which I need to put it on. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I didn't know which G shade to put on. So I just decided to leave it off until I actually place down my family. So this family, I get to decide where um, I can move them. So I have two apartment complexes for them to move into, one of which is unoccupied. And I really want to occupy a household in this um, apartment complex because this is for a um, new machinima that I'm working on. So I think this will be a great starting place to plop down a family. Um, some of these lots I did um, make into three bedrooms, I believe. And I believe it was this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them down in this apartment and move them in. Um, their daily rent is gonna be zero for now um, because I don't have um, my for rent um, set up. And that's coming soon. So I've been like behind the scenes, like making a new um, machinima. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out, but I'm like writing down scripts and all type of things. So if y'all want to check out the behind the scenes, please let me know down in the comments below. And I may possibly do the behind the scenes on Twitch. So just let me know. Um, it's not going to be on YouTube. Not at all. 
is just going to be exclusively on Twitch. Um, that way I um, can work on being on Twitch more often. All right, so here we are. The scenario details, parenting predicaments. Two happy-go-lucky young parents are at a loss for what to do with their rambunctious, unruly children. Can they cultivate the right environment for their children to thrive and support their children towards becoming teenagers on the right track? Who knows? Um, the potential outcome is responsible teenagers raise... Um, Wait, raise responsible teenagers, raise wild teenagers, Leonardo overachieves Sophia, slacks off, uh, Sophia overachieves and Leonardo slacks off. Um, the reward is a retrading po potion and we don't know what the bonus is. Um, it says learn about scenarios. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, I got a lot of stuff I got to click up out of here. Um, it says the Martinez family's story continues. Pablo and Jennifer are two happy-go-lucky parents. Is this the same thing I'm reading on <laughs> over and over again? Okay, we're going to put this on pause. Um, Pablo and Jennifer are too. Um, okay, so that's pretty much. Hold on, wait before I close out of something. Let me make sure ain't nothing popped up yet. All right, so this family is pretty generic. Um, and I really want to give them a makeover really bad. So the first thing we're going to do is give this family a makeover and then jump right into gameplay. All right, so I am here with the family. Um, I just gave them a quick makeover and I am loving it. Um, I am using uh, Miss Lollipop's Radiance. Um, I'm still looking for more G shades that I like to use for my game. Um, a lot of the G shades that I got, I really don't too much care for. Okay, so I'm going in here straight, you know, newborn. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, this is my first time playing with Scenario, so this is my disclaimer. Um, so it says parenting predicaments set up a child friendly home buy enough beds for the Martinez family so I'm gonna go ahead and press play and I believe that their home is right here if I'm not mistaken so I have to purchase three beds for them they have Oh, 33,000 um, for the family. So that's not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna put up my walls. Um, so of course this is gonna be the parents' room because it's the largest of the rooms. Um, I think I'm gonna have their bed here. Um, let's see. Since they have quite a bit of money, um, I don't know <laughs> if I want to just go in it like this. Or what? Um, I want to be able for both of them to seem like they may want, I think I'm looking at the same bits. Maybe, mm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So that was 4.30. And now let's see, um, here's a room, two rooms. 
um between the two i don't know who had or who's the oldest um but i'm gonna assume since you know she is the girl i don't know their names yet um and they don't even have a door <laughs> Oh my gosh, they don't even have a door. So let me go ahead and pop open the door right here. So that's 90. Um, I'm going to say that I know I'm moving it around a lot. Her bed is going to be here. Um, I'm going to take my time with this too because I really want to be immersed with my game um <clears throat> maybe a bit like that and then i don't know i didn't really look up <laughs> you know enough about her how about that bit i don't use that bit often um, and for him, I'm going to have him the smaller room. And his room, his bed is going to be this way. So how about one of these beds? I don't know, like something with like some patterns or something. And I think these are more girly-ish. Yeah. So probably I'm gonna just go with this bid. Um I'm gonna save my game real quick because it likes to act finicky sometimes. Okay, um, probably more so like the void critter bit. I think he would be into void critters, so I'm gonna give him that bit. So we went ahead and got um now mind you, this is a new apartment complex that I um placed into my game and that I'm um working on. Oh, I didn't even, um, it's okay. Um, I have to reimburse them for their 90, um, cents. Um, I don't know why everything is just like acting up in my game. I hope all the windows is fixed and doors. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into the game. So we got them three bits. It says, assign Sophia and Leonardo to a child's bed. So let's go ahead and assign this bed to Sophia and assign this bed to Leonardo. That should work, right? What is going on? <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can walk home, go here, yeah, I wonder why they were stalled like that. Um, I still have a lot of things to fix in my game um, since the new patch. Okay, so... Oh, it did it. Okay, so make sure kids get a good night's sleep. Um, just let it go. Sophia can't help but feel frustrated about Leonardo clinging to the other side of that argument. In a perfect world, they both would have just let it rest and talked about something else. Hmm. Could this mean that Sophia li dislikes argument? I'm gonna say yes. New family di um, dynamic, difficult. 
Some Sims just can't seem to get along with each other. Oh, with each new conversation and interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant. It's certainly looking that way between Leonardo and Sophia. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. Can, I'm sorry, mean to each other more often. Can easily become bitter with each other and intentionally neglect social calls. Would you say that Leonardo and Sophia have a difficult family dynamic? I'm going to say yes because I don't really have too much drama going on in my game. And that, that'll be cool. <laughs> to have some type of drama okay so make sure kids get a good night's sleep um in order to do this when the sims energy motive is low click on a bed and direct them to sleep so we have to check their needs and their needs are halfway so i'm gonna have sophia get some sleep and i'm going to have um leonardo get some sleep as well this way, they will be ready for school in the morning. Um, and yeah. Okay, so let's see where everybody is. So Jennifer came back outside. Pablo. <gasps> Pablo, no, what are you doing? He's in the clubhouse, like, why aren't you in the house? Well, I don't blame them because the clubhouse is like, you know, open 24 seven. So I understand that. Um, the kids are asleep. I'm gonna go ahead and auto light all the lights. Um, let's see the parents interact. So they're both in the clubhouse instead of their own home. Oh, that is so cute. She's like, hey, honey, I'm so happy we moved into this new apartment and he just walked off. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot to set the um think types as well. I also need to do that um for their home too. Um, let's see. So another disclaimer. Um I'm not good with storytelling. <laughs> I just like to play my game. So y'all gonna have to not mad me. I'm trying to get into storytelling, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the couple go to sleep. So I'm gonna assign the left side to Jennifer and the right side to Pablo. And let's have Jennifer go to sleep and let's have Pablo go to sleep. Okay, so like I said, this is my first time playing this, so I just want to have some fun. Like, what is he wearing? <laughs> he just took off his shirt. Okay, it says Pablo loves the outdoors. Getting outside often is a requirement for these Sims, but the emotional rewards is worth it. Okay. Um, it's a lot that I have to do with this lot. I'm renovating the whole entire, I'm not saying who I got it from yet, but I, re I renovated the whole entire downstairs and um, I'm going to do this um, yard here and have like a swing set and stuff like that for the kids. I really want this apartment complex to be filled with a lot of different family dynamics. Um, let's go ahead and have uh, Leonardo uh, Leonardo was unsuccessful in his attempt to communicate with the monster underneath his bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends right now. Matter of fact, I want to see who he runs to get. Is he just not going to do anything? Let's have... Um, what's his name? 
Pablo. Oh, he's going now. Who are you gonna wake up? He's a bow. Okay, of course. He got his dad. So I guess his dad is going to spray the monster underneath the bed. I don't know if it's gonna autonomously do it. But let's go ahead and do that. Um I should have had him reassure him. Let's see. Let's have him reassure him that everything is going to be okay. Um, is it deep thought? Oh, I should have him lecture about misbehavior. But I don't know. I think that's too much. I should. I mean, just to add a little bit of drama and spice into my game. Because he woke both of them up and I'm pretty sure they're tired. So he's probably just going to lecture him like, hey, you don't wake us up. Just go to sleep. It's nothing underneath the bed. I made sure I looked under there. Everything is okay. <laughs> I was feeling off today, but you definitely turned me on. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Well, well, okay, so he has options. Um, well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Well, I'm definitely off myself. Not right now. Look, go ahead. Look, y'all. <laughs> they are so cute. She was like, that was so sexy of you to help your son I hope my where are they going y'all I hope my streamer mode is on like I hope it's on yeah it's on okay oh my goodness they could have did it in the bed, but decided to, <laughs> to do it elsewhere. It's 11.49 p.m. Um, <clears throat> we still have a lot of things to do. We have to make sure the kids get a good night's sleep, which they are. We have to cook a group meal. Um, so we can probably go ahead and do that um in the morning before they go to school um, i'm gonna have the mom cook a meal um and we have to give sophia and leonardo a bath or a shower um when children's hygiene is low they can click on a bathtub or shower object to get clean so we can definitely go ahead and do that um come the morning Okay, so Leonardo is making a terrible mess. <laughs> and I'm a oh my gosh, he's still <laughs> I'm gonna have him go ahead and go back to the house um after they rendezvoused. But see like that didn't happen, but it did. <laughs> and have him discipline his son for his wow. recent behavior. Okay, so after he scolded him, I'ma go ahead and have him clean up this mess because his dad sees what he's doing he's he's just like you know i'm i'm really um not for belching influence to clean up mess so i'm gonna have him um have him clean this up he's like hey we just moved here and you're already messing up the floors we're renting <laughs> We don't own this place. So we have to pay for all of the mess and damages we do to this property. Do you not understand that? And he's just like, Dad, okay, I'll do it. But I feel like he's still, um, Leonardo is still going to um, make messes and stuff like that. And then we're going to have, um, is his name Pablo? Pablo um, put his son to bed. Um, so let's go ahead and put him to bed after that 
um, and we're just gonna clean up the rest of the mess. Um, where is she? That was the problem. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna have her go to sleep here because I don't know why she sleep there. Oh, I missed it. He just put his son to bed. Um, and I'm gonna also have Pablo go to sleep as well. So in the morning, um, uh, what is her name? Jennifer can get up and, um, make her kids some breakfast oh i forgot to clean up this mess but it's okay all right so it's almost reaching five o'clock in the morning and i'm going to have jennifer go ahead and make some breakfast um i'm gonna probably have her it says make a group meal i believe um let's see make a group meal um use the cook interaction on the fridge or the stove and select group okay so cook and then we're gonna make breakfast so we're gonna do eggs and toast and then make a family sized meal um, for the family So I'm gonna have her get up and start the day. It's five o'clock in the morning and she's going to make some breakfast. <laughs> no, is she? No, 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 no. No, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but maybe she can't use the stove because this thing is too low i'm not sure so i'm gonna lift that up a bit and <laughs> have her cook y'all this is one whole safe house so all of my um let's plays and stuff are in this one save file um i'm not sure what is going on with my game but hopefully she cooks in her own house instead of going to the clubhouse okay yes <laughs> oh my goodness um i'm gonna also have her clean as well so her kids are sleeping um once she finished cooking breakfast um i'm gonna have her wake up um Sophia is she able to do that no she's not able to wake her up so I'm gonna have um, the kids get up on their own um and then when they go off to school I'm gonna have them um let's see they're supposed to go to school today yeah, class in three hours. I'm going to have them um, take a shower. So everyone is sleeping. I, I kind of like this um, because it gives me a sense of direction on their family in general. Okay, so what she's going to do is also call the family to meal. They have nothing, like, <laughs> seriously, I just noticed that. So I wonder who all is going to get up. I wonder. So no one. So let's go ahead and wake up the kids. So Sophia woke up angry um, because she's a hothead. And I'm going to have her take an angry poop. Um, Leonardo woke up sad. Um, it says, how will I measure up? fear of being inferior is leonardo on track to measure up with the rest of the kids um so jennifer here is going to give him a pep talk um no 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 
Let's see. We're gonna have her give him a hmm. Maybe it's an interaction. We're gonna hug him lovingly and see how that works. I wonder why her hair <laughs> didn't stay the same. So I guess she's gonna eat first and then give him a pep talk. Oh, I guess then put the plate on the floor. Yeah. Why not? When it's a, a sink right here. Where's he going? You're that said you gotta put your plate outside instead of on the kitchen counter? Leonardo, really? <laughs> oh, I threw it away. <laughs> So let's go ahead and kind of like cheer him up, give him a heartfelt compliment, and hopefully that gets him out of his funk. Um, let's also influence him to uh, maybe we'll just have him go and take a quick um, bath, take a bath. And hopefully that has him um, feeling a little bit better. Um, I do want them to have like some laundry baskets. I really can see like this family, you know, settling into this apartment. Um, it's really nice, spacious um, enough for them. So hopefully um, this works out. Um, I have a lot of notifications too. So it says, um, mean lesson. Leonardo is mean. Mean Sims become happy when they say mean things to other Sims. Okay. Acquire the shit talking skill. Jennifer's new sh uh, skill in shit talking will allow her to successfully joke more frequently and learn about other Sims faster. Um, more varied types of interactions unlock at higher levels. Um, we found out that Jennifer is outgoing. Um, outgoing Sims need to socialize more often, but are emotionally strengthened by doing so. Um, yeah, you guys. Uh, <clears throat> one of y'all really need to get in the tub. Let's have her go ahead and do it since she not really talking. Oh, it also says um, Jennifer can now encourage kids' behavior. You might as well wait because she in now. Oh my goodness, like... Take bath. Okay, there we go. All right, I have to make sure he took his bath. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Jennifer uh, clean up. Um, and then I'm gonna have her, she's, I don't know, it seems like she's that type of mom to like, you know, clean up after her kids and make sure they're okay. Um, put away food leftovers for later. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away since um, Jennifer's husband isn't woke yet. Um, and then I'm gonna also clear out the notification wall and close this down. Um, let's check on the kids. So she's over here at the clubhouse. He's still in the tub taking all day and it's almost time for them to 
go to school yes it starts in about an hour so he's trying to take his precious time for some reason um sophia is reading under the covers and Jennifer is cleaning up a mess. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on their jobs. I haven't even checked their jobs yet. Um, I just want to get the kids together and make sure that everything is, you know, the way it's supposed to be. So she's putting that in the fridge. Have a child grab leftovers or a quick meal from the fridge. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have her order some, um, let's see, we're gonna have her order a hamper. Yeah, we're gonna have her order a hamper. So we're gonna go to laundry day. and get a quick hamper for them. One that's like... Oh, this blur is like all in the way. Okay, so we're just gonna get one for now. Okay. And then I'm gonna have her take this to the hamper. Okay, so we have Sophia here who still has not yet took a shower or a bath. Um, her father is using a bathroom and he's finishing up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her do we even have time? I'm gonna have her take a bath really quick. Hurry up, girl. It's 7.33. You have to go to school. Um, What else I need to do? I think that's pretty much it. And then just have the kids go to sleep. Um, So once the kids go to school... That'll give me an opportunity to work with the parent um, who's over here talking and the dad finally got something to eat. Leonardo is just all in grown folks business. What you getting upset for? I don't understand. Look, he looking like, who he's talking to? <laughs> um, Pablo Martinez shows signs of lover personality type. Lover Sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate nonetheless. With their desire to evoke, I know she like, honey, no, you, you don't, you don't do this, sweetheart. You do not do this. Look, I know he's like, son, I, I'm not going to deal with this. You you got to get yourself together. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay, so it's 7.59. So Leonardo should be ready to go to school. Sophia should be ready to go to school. Um, You guys just need to head out. For real. Um, her shower bath didn't register. So I'm going to definitely have to um, have them um, shower again. And I'm going to see the kids off. Like they're the only family in this apartment complex, <laughs> which is very funny. Okay. Um, yeah. So they're both off. Um, the parents are in the gym for some reason i guess they're getting a workout um let's see buy at least one toy 
for the kids okay so a lot of the stuff that we need to do for the parent predicaments um requires the kids so what i'm gonna do is um look at their careers so jennifer is a freelance article writer which is good um she needs to write a book which requires her to get a computer so going back to the house um I believe I'm going to place a probably base game um, like the cheapest computer and the cheapest desk for her to work on and that way she'll be able to um, level up and gain skills um, towards her freelance career um, I never really play with a freelance career like that and I, I like the fact that I can. Okay, let's see. So I got a quite a few this. Um, I don't want anything too big. Um I just want something simple for her as of right now. And this seems like a good desk um for her. Uh let's see. Oh, it doesn't come in different colors um would it even matter i don't think that it would matter but let's check others um that was 30 dollars which isn't bad this is too huge i just want her to have something like really simple um just you know just for her writing career um I think I'm gonna have to go with this um because this is hmm let's see <clears throat> she can also write right here yeah because we also have to get like living room stuff so like having a desk like right here would be great um, let me take this off and then get a quick little chair um i like this to be honest this is a cute chair I just really don't like the swatches <laughs> the colors that come with it um let me try something else um something a writer would sit in to like write their best novels and you know I think that'll be good but I would also like her to be in something she can like lean back in and stretch her legs and think and have some you know arm uh rest <laughs> um I'm trying to put a lot of thought into my um let's plays and I really like this one but it doesn't roll around like how I would want it to. Um, it doesn't have like the, you know what I mean? Like the things that um, you roll around in. Um, maybe that color. But then again, she can also get this one. Oh, I like this one too. That one looks nice. And then maybe like a... Probably like a... 
he likes the color gray i see that but maybe like a gray swatch and then get her like a starter computer probably like a laptop um some of these laptops that i do have i don't like the way it moves um so Mm, oh, and she's also going to need um, one of these router things. Um, maybe like on the floor. Oh, man, I'm going to have to um, put the walls up. So probably like. What the heck? I'll probably have to move this out the way and then put this down. No. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably just get the one that's um that goes on the table. That's fine. Okay, and then um let's go ahead and get a laptop. So this is a MacBook, and since she likes the color gray, I think it's just the back of it that changes color. We'll go ahead and do that, and let's see. All right, so she needs to write a book, um, but first she needs to also take a shower. So let's have her take a thoughtful shower. And they currently have 31K. Um, Jennifer is good. Good Sims are happy when others around them are happy and they seek to improve the world. Okay. Um, Sophia is off to school. Leonardo is off to school. Uh, Leonardo can watch sim.tv on a computer. Okay, Sophia can draw on an activity table. She can also play with the dollhouse and to, uh, toy box toys. Okay, so let's go ahead and say that... Um, Jennifer buys the kids toys. Um, let's say she gets um, a toy that both of the kids can play with. I believe it said one toy. Um, let's see, we're gonna go with, let's go with a toy car for Leonardo and we're gonna do like a doll or a teddy bear I really wish they had dolls in the game let's see oh we do I do <laughs> stop it okay we're gonna go with We're gonna go with this doll for Sophia. 
All right. Okay, so we um, did another one. Um, it says the next thing we have to do is optional um, have a child grab leftovers or a quick meal from the fridge have leonardo and sophia play with toys and give sophia and leonardo a bath or a shower so in my next um series with this um i'm gonna go ahead and have um sophia work on her writing skill um i'm gonna also um play with pablo and his skill um and then we're gonna see how the kids interact with their toys when they get home so thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel and watching this series um, I don't know how long this series is going to be, but it's a part of my mini series um, with the scenarios. Um, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.